Good afternoon, honorable speakers, distinguished guests, respected teachers, students, and dear audience. I hope you are doing excellent even in the pandemic session. I feel privileged to welcome you to the career session, which is Campus <coughs> to Career, organized by IT Poly PUBT Student Branch in association with Wadwani Foundation for upskilling your professional career. Thank you for your time to attend this splendid session. Myself, Tarikul Islam Rimon, student of Department of Tripoli, BUBT, and the event coordinator of ITPULI BUBT student branch. And this is Mahari Napraj, student, Department of CSE, Bangladesh University of Business and Technology, and the executive member of ITPULI BUBT student branch. ITPULI BUBT student branch is one of the largest student branches in the entire ITPULI Bangladesh section since October 29, 2017. And now they are flourishing to enhance the quality and variance, the nature of events and reaching new heights. They got the opportunity to collaborate with many other countries, student branches like Pakistan, Sri Lanka, India, Mauritius, Turkey, Kenya, which increased their network. They have women in engineering affinity and computer society, power and energy, industry applications, robotics and automation, industrial electronics, signal processing, photonics, biometrics, sensors, systems, RFID, nanotechnology, and superconductivity chapters. Now, I am asking to share their activity video. IEEE BUPT student branch brings you the 21st century's employability skill course in association with Wadwani Foundation for upskilling your professional career. To be successful in your career in the 21st century, one needs good results and all the necessary employability skills. Employability skills are a set of skills, knowledge, and attributes that make an individual more employable. When we say employability skills, we mean eight major personality traits and behaviors that will help candidates get hired and succeed in their work. These are basic communication, digital literacy, entrepreneurial mindset, problem solving, attitudes and behavioral skills, teamwork, customer centricity, and workplace awareness. Soft skills are important to build yourself for your career. After all, 
The efficiency of 21st century employees depends heavily on soft skills. So in this century, there is no substitute for soft skills to build yourself as a skilled employee. Keeping this in mind, we are organizing a one week long program on employability skills in association with Wadwani Foundation. Wadwani Foundation is a nonprofit organization with the primary mission of accelerating economic development in emerging economies by driving job creation in Bangladesh and other emerging economies through large scale initiatives in entrepreneurship, small business growth, innovation, and scaling. The Wadani Foundation is an exceptional organization that creates opportunities for students to become well established. The organization is helping students to learn all the necessary employability skills of the 21st century. Dear all participants, the time bell rang to introduce the honorable speaker of today's highlighted session. The honorable speaker is Astanul Kabir Sar. He is the program manager of Bangladesh of Wadwani Foundation as in having 13 years experience in education industry as program and business development professional. He has pioneering role in development of Pearson test of English and American college test, also experienced in employability skills and digital learning solution assessments and certification. Now, okay, thank you. I'm welcoming again our honorable speaker to the session, Campus to Career. At first, we'd like to know from Istanbul Kovic, sir, what is the current situation of job market in Bangladesh? And has there been any impact on the job market due to COVID-19? Okay, uh, thank you, MC, uh, Ramon and Afroz. Uh, thanks, first of all, thanks for inviting me in this session. Uh, as uh, you have given my introduction, uh, I'm working in Wadoni Foundation, managing the Bangladesh program. Uh, what we do in Bangladesh is to train student with 21st century employability skill to support them with uh, quicker placement, uh, career retention and the progression. So uh, that's the uh, activity what we do in Bangladesh market. Now, as you ask, like what, what is the job market at this moment and what employers are looking for? So uh, to answer this question, I'll just take you through one small slide and which uh, will have some uh, understanding on the requirement from the industry. So, uh, so uh, before you know uh, talking about this slide, I want to just take you, uh, give you some light about Wadoni Foundation. It's as you have already stated, it's US best philanthropic organization. We have operation in twenty plus countries. So what we have done is we uh, we we are working in this emerging economies to support youth on the placement side or maybe employment side. So as a philanthropic organization, we have taken employment as a social issue. So there are many social issues in, in emerging economies or in the developing countries, but Wadoni Foundation has taken employment as a social issue. So we have many intervention and out of which one intervention is to support a student with 21st century uh, employability skill. Again, it's part of the employment. And also we, uh, we train student or we support SMEs and MSMEs to create more jobs. So we support with manage management consultancy, we support them with uh, technology integration, we support them with uh, other uh, business consultancies, consultancy so that uh, they grow, they increase their revenue so, so that they create more jobs. That, that one intervention we do in many countries. Another intervention we do is we support students from different segments. In Bangladesh, we have, um, if, if I say, where from where student gets exit in the placement we have tv technical vocational education and training we have polytechnic and we have university and college students so after completing their uh, let's say academic or vocational qualification they get into the career so we support them with the industry uh, let's say driven or industry required skill those might not be given full focus or maybe not part of the academics or academia to support student on the employability. So we have taken this component so that we can support them with some skilling initiative activities 
they get groomed with 21st century employability skill so that they get into career in quickest possible time so before starting so i want to start with this slide uh, which is uh, a survey I means we have conducted this survey in 1100 companies in many regions in many countries so uh, in this survey we have we have catered all the industry starting from it its bfsi to even uh, rubber plast and chemical or electronics industry so we went to them we asked them when we hire somebody what skills you are look for I means you hire the student let's say who are uh, getting into the entry level jobs either a blue gray or white color job so what actually the skill set you you look for so based on the their input uh, from the 1100 plus companies we have divided into two part the skills what they are asking for we have divided into two part one part is hard skill another part is soft skill so hard skill usually we earn or we learn from our academia from our edu academic institution so say if i am having computer science uh, graduation or i'm having uh, bba so this is my hard skill or this is my core area which i usually learn from my academic institution but there are some other skills and in 21st century those are required by the employer we don't uh, so i'll come into that what the skill you have already said so this is the at this moment if i say what industry look for industry look for hard skill and soft skill and now uh, on the statistics if you see we have two clear part one is hard and soft so if we just divide this it's kind of 50 50 so what we learn or what we earn from our academic credentials that will only support 50 percent in today's workplace but another 50 percent uh, maybe let's say somebody good at communication because he or she used to do debating or maybe some other cultural activities somebody good at let's say problem solving because he used to do uh, a lot of other activities those, those are connect beside the academic activities those are connected to the problem solving skills but combining all the skills uh, so this is the requirement in 21st century and the skills they're looking for uh, in in the left hand side if you see the green this is the soft skill so more uh, technical industry we see at the below so it its maybe less technical or be as a banking financial institute maybe less uh, technical uh, industry so still they look for 57 percent soft skill 43 percent hard skill but if you go down mining and ele electronics industry they look for 38 uh, percent soft skill and 63 percent hard skill so now if we just divide this the entire job market what we have the average would be 50 percent hard skill and 50 percent soft skill now hard skill i have already explained like your academic credentials your vocational credentials your identity or your graduation or your masters but if we go to the next slide this is the soft skill where we have communication digital literacy teamwork at problem solving attitude and behavior entrepreneurial mindset and on uh, uh, again it's digital literacy which is again part of uh, uh, digital literacy basic and advanced so we have two digital literacy so uh here we have let's say this is the complete set of employability skill it's not only communication and now in communication it's not only just talking in communication more related to let's say my speaking writing listening active listening definitely negotiation selling presenting these are the skills part of communication now in the problem solving skills Maybe decision making would be the main challenge in the problem solving skills. But we teach some tools, let's say uh, uh, the creative thinking, critical thinking, design thinking. These are the tools so that uh, we you can equip with the knowledge and idea so it, it can foster your decision making process. So uh, in the same way, in the attitude and behavior, we teach emotional intelligence, time and task management, uh, 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 gender sensitivity, cultural diversity. We teach uh, safety and environment. So all this aspect actually we teach in the attitude and behavior, the quality and cost consciousness, which is a very important uh, topic. So this we teach in the attitude and behavior. And, and, and also if I talk about entrepreneurial mindset, which is kind of related to your, let's say, uh, basics of entrepreneurship. It's not only like, uh, let's say, looking for a job, but it's kind of eye-opening factor so that you can have ideation you can have you know you can you can know your customer from whatever bag you're coming from uh, you 
you will be given ideas on the how you can get the money for your business or what are the enterpri enterprise available uh, in the region so you will get a complete idea on the basics of entrepreneurship so now to answer your question quickly first of all industry looking for two set of skill hard skill and soft skill so soft skill is not only communication kotha bolai shudhu soft skill now there are many other things involved in the soft skill so and this is we, we are calling them employability skill because this is important part in the today's workplace uh, now in bangladesh especially post covid situation uh, if you see like industries we had almost 17 18 months we had a uh, really bad time in the industry a uh, few manufacturing hub or uh, maybe um, uh, you know continued their production um, if uh, we also we can see also their emerging uh, let's say industry those are related to the technology let's say e-commerce or maybe the industry related to e uh, let's say uh, courier uh, distribution delivery so all this uh, let's say industry and sub industry and all and related uh, other industry also got developed in last you know 15 16 month and in the same time if you see there are many companies at uh, you know last 15 16 months we have seen uh, more than i think 20 edtech company also uh, got uh, formatted in bangladesh edtech company means the education <clears throat> platform they are teaching and and in the same time industry if you see we like that is one let's say organically what happened but in the same time government has a lot of initiative we know like we have uh, quite a few numbers of uh, export processing zone and during COVID time, we have seen a lot of industries open up the company, multinational companies open up the company in Bangladesh. Uh, and they, uh, maybe electronics industry would be the next industry which will have a huge manufacturing activities in Bangladesh. Uh, pharma industry definitely, medical device, pharma, healthcare industry definitely will go. Um, uh, we have, we, we uh, government also trying to get a lot of foreign investment especially on the manufacturing side so that we can have our uh, local production so we might see in one hand maybe there are some companies suffered but there are in other hand there are a lot of other opportunities got opened up because there are some geopolitical issue uh, in the world uh, it, it means i don't want to get into all these details but for that we are also getting fortunate our textile industry always there, there. it's got matured electronics industry coming we have uh, 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 if I say footwear industry, definitely it is already there, so it's it's growing as well. Medical device, pharma industry would be there. Our ceramic industry is also really good. Uh, now, in the same time, technology, everything is getting connected with the technology. So we'll have a lot of uh, good news definitely in coming days with a lot of let's say job openings or a uh, lot of requirement in the technology uh, or maybe from the IT professional or maybe IT graduate. Uh, and another point which I want to add here, uh, in coming days, everything would be related to the skill. Skill means what skill you are having. Skill means in what area you are good at. So either you have masters, double masters, honors, or maybe all these good result, but it's mainly depend be depending on what skills you are having. And the skills would be mainly depending on the digital skills. Now maybe you, you you have heard about digital marketing but we don't teach we don't learn digital marketing as of now in the academic in, institution uh, but marketing at this moment moving with everything moving with the digital marketing so now a skill on the digital marketing data analytics even uh, the it professional you have to be with the uh, uh, ai or maybe uh, the machine learning all this aspect and in the same time uh, you you definitely will have to know what's happening, how cloud hosting happening, who are the let's say market player in the uh, cloud hosting industry. So all this definitely would be related to the maybe IT industry. But I want to give the overall perspective about Bangladesh, uh, what I wanted to give, what's happening, what will happen, and what I want to give you the confidence in the uh, Bangladesh should be manufacturing hub for this uh, Southeast Asia or even in Asian country will be doing good in definitely in the manufacturing side. Government has taken a lot of initiative, a lot of opportunities coming, a lot of multinational company, uh, multinational companies are also coming. So uh, is that okay? Is my question, your question, uh, my answer was related to your question, uh, Irimon? Is that okay? 
Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your valuable information. Sir, our next question is, how does uh, Wadwani Foundation make impact on the students in building their career? Okay. So, uh, good question. Uh, sir? See, what, yeah. You want to add anything? Okay. So, Wadoni Foundation is a philanthropic organization, which means it's whatever we do, we do it for the social good. So, what we, uh, let's say, yeah, it got incepted in uh, 2000. So, uh, by Mr. Ramesh Wadoni, he started this foundation. And his main area of work, as I was saying, was the employment. He want to support society because he sees, he already uh, means at, at that time he observed like uh, employment or employability would be the social issues very soon, especially in the emerging economies, especially uh, let's say uh, developing countries. So he has given $1.5 billion in the fund. So with, let's say on that money, we are having our operation in 20 countries. So what we have done is we have developed based on the, uh, let's say, analysis as well as the skills I was showing, we have developed our e-content. So e-content means it's not only, let's say, self-paced learning. It has all the things. Let's say it's a blended learning. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you like how actually we're intervening, we're supporting students. Uh, based on the research, whatever we have found, we have developed our 21st century employability skill course. And as you have already seen, it has 10 modules, or you can say uh, uh, eight modules. So actually eight modules because communication has two part, communication basic and workplace. So we want to train student on all of these modules. We have 145 hours of lesson. So how the lesson is structured, how assessment and evaluation will happen, how will you certify? I'll, I'll show you everything. So now this is the, let's say our 21st century's core employability skills module. This is the module or you can say chapter or subject. These are the eight subject. I can say this is the eight subject. In this eight subject, we have uh, uh, 145 hours of lesson, but for the course we are offering for you, this will have 47 hours. So in 40, 47 hours would be uh, distributing in uh, four weeks. So in the four or five weeks, actually. So in the five weeks, you will complete this course. So now how, let's, what actually you will do? How, what, uh, how you will study? So now what we have done is we have done the research. We got the module, uh, let's say a requirement from industry based on the requirement. We developed our e-content or you can say digital content. So Wadoni Foundation is actually pioneer in the world in developing uh, soft skill content or employability skill content for the student because you will see a lot of courses available those are maybe functional managers senior officers or maybe assistant managers or maybe ceos and all these guys but as of now in the world uh, we did not see any intervention and any support system built for the student to support them with 21st century employability skill in a 360 angle so what we have seen is let's say how we get job let's say how i got job so I, I talk to my senior or maybe I, I prepared a CV based on the, my senior CV. I just changed a few things and then I applied for the job. But in the 21st centuries, maybe this will not be the right way of applying for a job. So now, so what we have done, actually, I, I'm just getting into that point. What we have done is we developed this content. So as I was saying, we have 47 hours of lesson in eight module, communication, digital literacy, more uh, attitude and behavior and all this. So the structure would be this. So structure would be first five to seven minutes, you will watch a video. So, so we, we are saying it's watch. So watch, think, do, do has two part, do play and do test, explore and collaborate. For collaborate, we'll have weekly session. So it's a collaborative learning, facilitator led collaborative learning. So what we have done is we have deployed experiential learning model, which is the best learning solution for, uh, uh, let's say, delivering digital content, employability skill or soft skill. So in, in uh, means recent time, let's say you will see a lot of uh, ed tech company, they're saying they're ed tech, but they're only developing, let's say videos, and then uh, integrating some assessment. You just watch video 
uh, do the assessment and they will issue the certificate but that will that will not give you the complete learning that will not give you the complete learning uh, shoshi can you mute yourself please okay that will not give you the complete learning because it's a one way communication now if this has happened in a different way what we have done is we have taken the video then we have simulated then let's say we are learning uh, emotional intelligence so in the emotional intelligence what we'll first do is we'll watch a video for 5 to uh, 8 minute so in the 5 to 8 minute it's mainly the micro learning nugget because uh, uh, let's say the theory is or the overall understanding for the lesson it can be delivered in 5 to 8 minute 8 minutes and in 21st century when you guys got grown up in the age of technology in the age of youtube in the age of let's say uh, spending a lot of time in the on the screen so for you the keeping your concentration for more than 7 minutes is really difficult so that's why we have developed this 5 to 8 minutes on the watch part let's say if it is a emotional intelligent lesson so the first video would be five to eight minutes, eight minutes to give you the understanding on the emotional intelligence. Now coming to the next part, which is a think, which is a high order thinking based video, as well as to give you extra learning on the same lesson. Lesson is emotional intelligence. So you'll have, let's say you will have to spend around five minutes. So you uh, on the video, you're spending five minutes, like average five minutes. In think part, you are spending five minutes. And in the think part, you will see like, uh, this is the screenshot we have taken. In think part, you'll see like color, tunes, animation, and video as well. It's not, I am acting and it's getting uh, video are being captured. And then it, it, we are publishing in the uh, in our uh, learning management system. It's not like that. We, are, we have uh, used color, tunes, animation, sound, so that to attract you and so that also in the same time, you don't lose your concentration. So in the thing part, uh, it's it's kind of uh, simulation we have done with the real workplace. We uh, we set the background or also uh, what you have watched. We are checking from that. So let's say if we, uh, in the watched video, what you have learned, we are checking like what you have actually done. And and and, and this we do with some kind of simulation. We give you a story and then we say like uh, if you uh, what would be the right answer. So if you are giving the first answer, let's on the left hand side, if it is system will show you why uh, it is correct. And if it is wrong, then system will show why it is wrong so that you can choose another answer. So it's kind of small AI also we have integrated with the every part of the lesson. So after think you will have do play, do play is mainly the practice. It's five to 10 minutes is kind of thing. Again, uh, simulation uh, we have done in the real workplace. That's a boss subordinate, how they talk. And based on that, we have taken out the situation and we have, uh, uh, well, like a system will ask you, like uh, you give the answer. So it has two part play mode and test mode. Just to let you know, test mode has a score. So watch, think, do. The next part is the uh, collaborate. I'll come on this later. So uh, in the explore part. So in the explore part, you'll see a lot of web link and video links we have given, taken from YouTube or maybe other web link from different journal or research paper. So to give you extra reading material on the same lesson, which is the emotional intelligence. So on the self learning, you will have watch, think, do and explore. But in the weekly class, you will have, let's say, you will be distributed in the, let's say group, you will be given task. And, and then based on the task, you'll work in the team and you will present the task. The task can be, let's say, uh, anything you can present through pre presentation, you can do the role play. So it's kind of a to uh, have some fun and to have some, that's a practical implementation of the learning. So this collaboration, collaborate part, uh, we have developed this collaborate part. So for every lesson has this structure, watch, think, do, explore and collaborate, right? And after that, there will be assessment. Now, one part, you, you learning, watch thing do self learning as well as in a uh, uh, facilitator led learning weekly one class mm -hmm. but there will be four formative formative assessment and one submittive assessment and you have to score 70 percent and more in each of the assessment if you do the if you uh, let's say if you're done with the assessment then you uh, system will automatically generate this skill scorecard i'm not sure if it is visible just to give you idea how what actually it means so what your score in communication and what your score in the sub skills of the communication. 
so let's say speaking what skills you are having writing listening negotiation self presentation selling these are all sub skills of communication so what is skills you are having on on the skills as well as in the sub skills another uh, skill attitude, attitude and behavior and in the sub skills so it's kind of a uh, let's say a presentation of your skill on it's mainly helping uh, employers to give the priority to the student who has let's say skill what they are looking for now why i'm saying it when there there is a circular let's say entry level management trainee officer or maybe let's say officer for this uh, sales and marketing so on this post you will see there there is a say let's say uh, bachelor or masters in uh, bba mba or whatever but below additional skill you will see some five six points we actually want to support the employers to select you quickly based on your score card so this score card uh, let's say we have sent this score card to many employers already in bangladesh and in different part of the world everybody liked it because it's actually supporting them before taking their interview they will see some authentic information about your skills and sub skills and uh, which definitely will influence them in in the in in their decision making after uh, the interview so if you have the skill with let's say a lot of green and having more than 70% in all the skills and now we are you are applying for software engineer but in the software or maybe business analyst but in the business analyst maybe communication would have less importance but uh, attitude and behavior problem solving will have more importance so they 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 can see okay you have good skill in the critical thinking decision making and creative thinking done you 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 are done with maybe uh, you will be shortlisted quickly so this can be very much part of your resume to have your let's say uh, one is your let's say academic credentials and you are just stating your academic credentials in the uh, uh, resume but this also can be part of directly your resume to attract the employer and in the same time as we are doing it for free for all youth in bangladesh what also we are doing in a same time we are trying to build the employer network so that they also know this is the skill and sub skill score card and they recognize it it mainly support them to have their decision making process faster so uh, that's our let's say uh, as you said uh, rimon bhaiya what we do and how we do this is the thing and also in the same time after the skill also we issue the uh, certificate and which is let's say uh, now here uh, we'll, we can write the institution name but in the same time if uh, uh, bubt management also exists to work directly then maybe we put we can put both the logos in the certificate so it depend on how uh, let's say this will be working but in summary we have a full set of content we have facilitator to support you we have assessment and based on the assessment we will also issue a scorecard and in the same time we will give you a certificate so that uh, and in a, not only that we also conduct we have already started conducting a lot of hr session uh, employer session and recent uh, you know in 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 future we have also planned to conduct job fair for our student who have let's say academic credibility as well as this uh, 21st century employability skills okay Rion Bhaiya. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yeah. And we have, and the last question for you, uh, how the Wadwani Foundation is playing role in the job market, sir? Yeah, that, that I wanted to explain at the end. So we are actually building this funnel. Now, first of all, uh, we have already trained, trained around uh, 20,000 students in this. Now, in the same time, we have uh, recently we signed up with the uh, Ministry of ICT. I want to just show you. Uh, 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 government has also planned to support uh, 500,000 students by 2026. In next five years, uh, Bangladesh Computer Council will train 500,000 students on 21st century employability skills, where we are supporting them with the content. So, we'll be working with the IT industry association, we'll be working with industry associations. Uh, uh, IT industry associations, there are many IT industry associations, uh, BASIS, BACCO, uh, ECAPS, we'll be working with them to, uh, jointly for, for driving the employment placement part. So first of all, we're training the student 
on the skills we're issuing the scorecard and in the same time we are building the uh, relationship with the employer so that we can really say or we can really support employer with this 21st century employability skill so uh, now employer will also get ready made let's say uh, entry level staff that is good news for them um, they don't need to train from the beginning only they can have the orientation for the uh, new employees and they can get into the job immediately so uh, we are building that and also we have plan if uh, this uh, let's say partnership with bubt gets into a good shape definitely jointly will uh, regularly will organize job fair for the student from bubt who will be completing this course uh, so uh, in the same time i want to want, uh, just take one question from uh, the chat box uh, which is uh, how can i collect my certificate see uh, uh, after let's say once you are your batch should be closed you are done with all assessment the skill scorecard would be automatically generated in your login in the learnwise learnwise is learning management system of wadwani foundation and which is as of now what i have seen is best learning management system i can say at least in bangladesh so now after let's say uh, that then every month though uh, in in this year we have conducted three convocation but we have planned to conduct every month this month we also have convocation on uh, 30th of september so through this convocation we also award them with the certificate so this certificate will be again a pdf form of certificate from the system you will receive the certificate automatically so once you are done with the convocation uh, your certificate will be given to the successful student who has 70 percent and more score average score in all the assessment yeah and i can take few other question how to complete this course so this is pre-workshop so our main session would be starting uh, my colleague uh, i'm sure you have already done uh, google form you have already filled up the google form so you'll receive email uh, with the registration process in learnwise this is the google form for initial registration but you will get the access into or into the learning management system of Wadwani Foundation. So for that, you'll, uh, you'll receive email in your mailbox. You'll have the complete instruction and you just follow the instruction and also will give you the schedule for the class. Now, uh, as I was saying, you'll have to complete 47 lesson from eight subject or chapter or module uh, by uh, in four weeks. So per week, you might have to complete 10 lessons. So in a week, will have to complete 10 lesson uh, on your self learning mode so this 10 lesson would be like uh, would be taking around i i uh, around 5 hours 30 minutes each lesson so total will take let's say uh, 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 by 5 hours per week you have to give and also you have to session with the uh, with the facilitator of the foundation and meanwhile you'll have you'll have to also complete the assessment and then this is how this course will have uh, complete so it's not fully, let's say, uh, you know, only facilitator will talk and you listen your camera off and will not know what's happening on the other side of the camera. So it's not like that. You will be given task and this 10 lesson you'll have to complete in the next seven days. And how many of you completed, we can also see from the uh, dashboard. So your every activity in Lanois would be captured. So many lessons you're completing, how many quizzes you are giving. So every activity will be captured. So we can let you know, like uh, you are uh, either on track with the list uh, on the course or you are behind the course or you are maybe advanced from the course. So we can on every week plus, we can also let all of this know. And in the same time, we'll give you the task. We'll have the role play. We have fun class in uh, in, in online session by Wadwani Foundation's faculty. OK, so yeah and now how i can join this program and uh, is it free uh this is a free program and now in the same time i don't want to let say you this is a free program because we want to have the change in your uh what should i say in, in your behavior so behavior is not like that behavior means that you have learned something so you should be able to implement this learning in the real workplace. 
so that behavioral change we want to see and in the same time this is not our business case we want to really impact in your life we want to really contribute in your life so as we don't have business case this course will not be charged so you'll uh, you'll not be charged on this course so now in the same time we don't want to position this as a free course because your uh, let's say you have to give time you have to really study and you have to get the marks you have to gain the certificate uh, you have to earn the certificate and definitely for them who will be earning the certificate will have maybe try for support you in the placement also uh because as i was saying it is not a business case so maybe if it it would have been a business case maybe you are charged 1000 taka after that you study or don't study that's not my matter because i have already sold the product to you but it's not the case for us uh what we want is we want you to study it's free we want you to study we want you to get groomed develop um uh, and then on the certificate that definitely will support you in your career because as i was saying if you have behavioral change then definitely you will be the different person than what you are today though it would be maybe four weeks program but in the same time two days program cannot change your overall behavior but four weeks program can definitely contribute and in the same time what i was saying we have deployed a lot of theories a lot of methodologies best learning solution to design the content to design the let's say course so that then really contribute in changing your behavior means it can really have your learning be implemented in the real sir ei assessment program e koto bar onshohon kora jabe suppose ami assessment dilam but amar score card bhalo holo na ami ebar koto bar dite parbo apni apni maximum dui bar dite parben maximum dui bar tobe sir ami jokhon mon korcho ami confident ekhon tokhon dite parbo na ekta nirdishto shomoy ache je er modhe dite dewa lagbe আপনাকে অবশ্যই সেটা টাইম দেওয়া হবে প্রত্যেকটা সবকিছুরই টাইম থাকবে কারণ এটা কোর্সের তো আসলে আনলিমিটেড টাইমের মধ্যে যাবে না সো এটা হয়তো বা সেই উইকে ক্লাস শেষ হয়ে গেল আপনাকে বলা হবে যে ভাই নেক্সট সেভেন ডেজ আপনাকে অ্যাসেস টেস্ট গুলো দিতে হবে ওকে সার্টিফিকেট এন্ড एवरीथिंग উইল বি ফ্রি देयर नॉट বি এনি ফাইনান্সিয়াল ট্রানজাকশন फ्रॉम योर সাইড गाइस হ্যাঁ আমি একটা জিনিস একটু অ্যাড করতে যাচ্ছি সবার সুবিধার জন্য সেটা হচ্ছে যে যাদের অনেক क्वेश्चंस আছে আমাদের কোর্স নিয়ে আমি জাস্ট একটু सिंपली কয়েকটা পয়েন্ট আপনাদেরকে বলে দেই এক নাম্বার পয়েন্ট হচ্ছে আপনারা কাইন্ডলি সবাই বিউবিডি এর পেজে যে রেজিস্ট্রেশন লিংকটা দেয়া আছে আর আমি এখানেও রেজিস্ট্রেশন লিংকটা এখনি চ্যাট বক্সে দিয়ে দিচ্ছি সেখানে সবার আগে রেজিস্ট্রেশন করবেন এই রেজিস্ট্রেশনটা করার অর্থ হচ্ছে আমরা লিস্ট পেলাম যে কারা কারা আমাদের কোর্সটাতে আসতে इच्छुक इट्स ফ্রি অফ কস্ট আপনাদের এখানে কোনো রেজিস্ট্রেশন ফি আমরা নিচ্ছি না সো এখানে এক নাম্বার পয়েন্টে আপনারা তাহলে সবার আগে ওই ফর্মটা ফিলআপ করে নিন দুই নাম্বার হচ্ছে যারা যারা ফর্ম ফিলআপ করেছেন তাদের ইমেইল আইডি আমরা পেয়েছি সো তাদেরকে আমি একটা একটা ডিটেইলড মানে মেইল পাঠাবো আপনাদের ইমেইল আইডিতে সেই মেইলে সব ইনস্ট্রাকশন দেওয়া থাকবে আমাদের লার্ন ওয়াইজ যে পোর্টালটা ওই পোর্টালটা একটা অনেক সুন্দর করে অর্গানাইজ একটা পোর্টাল ওটার মধ্যেই আপনারা কোর্সটা করবেন সব লেসনস সবকিছু থাকবে এন্ড আপনাদেরকে আরো সুবিধার জন্য যেন আপনারা সুন্দর করে কবে কি করবেন সবকিছু কুইজ কবে হবে সব জানার জন্য আমরা একটা ওরিয়েন্টেশন প্রোগ্রামও করব যারা যারা লগইন করলেন আমাদের ওই অ্যাকাউন্ট ক্রিয়েট কমপ্লিট করলেন আমাদের লার্ন ওয়াইজ আমার মেইলে মেইলে যে রকম ভাবে থাকবে সেভাবে করে কমপ্লিট করবেন তাদেরকে নিয়ে আমরা ওরিয়েন্টেশন প্রোগ্রাম করব সেখানে আমরা আপনাদের আরো যত প্রবলেম আছে সবকিছু ডিটেইলসে আমরা আলোচনা করব সো আই থিংক আরো যদি কারো কোনো প্রশ্ন থাকে আমরা ওরিয়েন্টেশনে সেগুলো সলভ করে ফেলব জাস্ট আপনারা অ্যাকাউন্ট ক্রিয়েশন প্রসেসটা সুন্দর করে কমপ্লিট করবেন আমার মেইল পাওয়ার পর থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভাইয়া সরি ইন্টারাপ্ট করার জন্য সো সো আমি যদি জাস্ট সাদিয়া যেটা বলেছে এটাকে যদি একটু সামারাইজ করি এটা এই প্রোগ্রামটা ফ্রি কোনো চার্জ নাই এই প্রোগ্রামটা করলে আপনার অনেক বেনিফিট হবে যেটা আমি স্ট্যাটিস্টিক্স ধরে আমরা দেখালাম টোয়েন্টি ফার্স্ট সেঞ্চুরিতে হার্ড স্কিল অ্যান্ড সফট স্কিলস এর যে ডিফারেন্স অ্যান্ড দেন আফটার দ্যাট আপনার কোর্সটা করার পর আপনি কি পাবেন অ্যাসেসমেন্ট কিভাবে হবে এবং কোর্সটা কমপ্লিট করার পর স্কোর কার্ড কি আসবে অ্যান্ড সার্টিফিকেটটা কি হবে পুরো জার্নিটাই আমরা দেখে যাচ্ছি সো এগুলো সবগুলো সাপোর্টই আপনারা পাবেন অ্যাট নো কস্ট আপনাদের সাথে কখনোই আমাদের কোনো ফাইন্যান্সিয়াল অথবা ফিস রিলেটেড কোন টাইপের কোন ইয়া থাকবে না মানে যেটাকে বলবো যে ট্রানজাকশন থাকবে না সো দিস ইজ এ ফ্রি কোর্স আমরা এনজিও হিসাবে আমরা চাই আপনাদের লাইফে এই কোর্সটা দিয়ে কন্ট্রিবিউট করতে যে কোর্সটা আসলে এই সময়টা অনেক ইম্পর্টেন্স ক্যারি করে এই সময়ের ওয়ার্ক প্লেসে ওকে গুড থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার ওকে গ্রেট ওকে সো 
আমাদের যদি আর কারো কোনো কোয়েশ্চেন না থাকে তাহলে আমি এখন আই ওয়ান্ট টু লেট দ্য রেস্ট অফ দ্য ডিসকাশন টু রিমন ভাই অ্যান্ড আফরোজ আপু ফর ফার্দার প্রসেস Thank you very much, uh, Istanul Kabir Sahib, for making the interactive session. We're impressed having a great session. I think the participants learned a lot today and will be much benefited by the session. <laughs> Thank you once again to all the honorable guests, faculty members, and students for your cooperation. That is must for all time. It's been a pleasure being with you all of you today. And again, thank you all for your patience. We reach to the ending moment of today's session. Wish you all a very good evening. Stay safe and stay well. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>